This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. I wanted to show you guys a few things I learned here in these experiments. Uh, this coil with the plastic, it doesn't really work that good, especially if you're going to put like 900, that's 900 turns on that coil right there. And you can see it kind of pushes out. So uh, that created a problem. They were just like pillowed on here. So I actually unwound them. So I just doubled my work. I've made some changes to the winder. I'm still working on it, but it's going to have a carriage on it. You can see that's going to do an oscillation back and forth to wind this more effectively. Um, but basically I had to take it off because it was causing this issue. So what I came up with here, and this is the way the rest of them are being built. I'll show you the one behind here uh, after this. But basically this is that same uh, uh, metal from the toroid, the same steel, right? So this is probably the last one of these I, I'm going to build. I got a little more of it enough to fill that up. So what I want here is a nice tight fit on this. You're going to bring a plate in this way and then in between the back plates you're going to add you're going to add a piece of steel behind it. So right now this one is uh, 10 plates. Ten, five going one way, five going the other way and then between each one of those plates is like this a, a little piece of steel so that at the end you you have a, a tapered shape uh, that you can wind against uh, and not lose the shape of the coil and it reinforces the magnetic field as it passes the coil so this is a definite improvement from the plastic let me show you what, I'm, what I got here. All right, this this is going to be a low voltage one because the design is still pretty crude. This takes a lot of effort to. Basically, I'm using resin and using resin to put those together, and I, they got better as you can see here. The, the the way I put it together now is a lot cleaner. I was getting resin everywhere trying to ensure it was covered and it was too, actually too much resin so uh, I'll show you how I put them together here in another video but um, basically this is also provides a mounting surface on the back so the new plate here uh, I just need to put little mounts here and that holds the thing I got rid of the strap system so on this one right here uh, this is going to be uh, number 12, number 12, I think it's number 12 and number 14. I'll have to measure it, but basically this is the size I'm using. I think it's a number 14, actually. Um, so that's going to get filled up. And one thing that's important to remember here is this coil, when this energy shifts back and forth to create this, this wave, right? This coil has to ohms match this coil. So they all have to match. They have to be equal. And the reason that's important is because this energy is shifting back and forth within this magnetic field as the field flips back and forth. So these coils are doing a scrubbing action. So the energy from this coil depending on the direction it's, that it's spinning, would end up in the, this coil. So the amount of work we're getting out of it is what's coming out on both ends of that scrubbing action because an, it's AC power that's being created. So that's really important that these coils match each other. So what I've been trying to do here is come up with an, an easy way to do that. And the easiest way to do that, that I can come up with without um, causing errors in, in my calculations, is to spread this out in feet, 
know exactly how many feet I'm putting on one coil, which means I wind one coil so I'm happy with it, then I unwind it, and I measure that in feet. And then I create that many coil sets at that exact foot uh, length. So if I do that, um, my omen should match. It should be damn near perfect. So I'll be able to check the homage on it to be sure. Uh, but basically, it's probably going to be this wire here. It's going to be less than one ohm for sure. I mean, the large ones are the large coils use uh, that big a wire. There, there's no way you're going to get one ohm out of that much wire right there. So. But the, now the, the high voltage version of this same coil, the next one I'm making, on, I'm going to build on this right here, this structure, the same way, uh, is going to be high voltage. And this one's going to have 900 turns on each coil, and there's 12 of those coils. This is probably going to have 100, 150 turns, depending on what I can get on here. So that's kind of where it's at. Um, I'm not sure when I can post this. I, I want to get through these trials. I want to know where I'm at. And once I've done that, then I'll feel comfortable about posting these videos, even though there's nothing really in them except for building process. So for now, this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out.